Welcome back to Street Trash Reviews, the trashiest reviews show on the streets. <laughs> While our host was reviewing street trash, temperatures were so high that they might have melted the Golden Gate Bridge like in that one movie. But nothing stops our host, the Street Trash Reviewer. Let's go review some street trash in these scorching temperatures. Dude, it's literally 60 degrees out in January. What could that mean? <laughs> Our host's insanity is curbed. I don't think it comes across. Let me go up next to that tree there. By clouds. Oh, what's this? What material is this? It looks like we have some sort of glass uh, container thing is our first. But this is plastic. Um, can I flip it over, please? There. Let me put it back where I found it. Oh my god, one out of time. Looks like our host is not a professional trash flipper. It looks like we have a completely eviscerated printer. Or maybe a labeling machine or a laminator, or something of that regard. Um, either way, it is done. Smashed wide open. Um, an interesting start for sure. Oh, it even has bonus glass in it. Yeah, that brings it up to like a 9 out of 10. Here's some more typical street trash. This looks like some fast food mistake uh, from the KFC, I want to say. KFC a and um, They just tossed the entire meal here. I'm wondering if they ate it here or if they just threw it away and it rotted away so fast, you know, because fast food. Um, 3 out of 10. And the bonus can right next door. He's got to get like a, not a high rating, that's for sure. 2 out of 10. So many cans, just infinite cans. Check this out. Holy ham, we have, oh wow, this, we've got a big one. We got a big one here. Holy crap, we have a whole Knocked down telegraph pole. Oh wow, look at this. Looks like there's no insulators on it still. A whole knocked down. Can I get this whole thing in frame? Look at that. A whole knocked down telegraph pole. I can't believe it. This is insane. Yeah, but there are definitely no insulators left on it. Unfortunately, here's where one of them would have been. Wow. If I was more of a maniac, I'd take this home with me, but... That's, that's actually crazy. Oh, wow. I can't get this whole thing in... In frame, I don't think. It's so, it's so big. Here's my foot. Next to this. Jeez. Oh, wow. There's so much tetanus next to it. Look at this. This tent. 10 out of 10 for a, a knockdown telegraph pole. I never thought that I would see one of those on this show. It's the end of the telegraph line for the telegraph line industry, but what about cans? Uh, here we have the number one most destroyed can I think I've seen in my entire life. It's a bush beer can, and it is just in pieces. This can is eviscerated. What the hell, what happened to this can? Nothing good. Maybe an animal got to it and started eating it. Anyway, for this like modern art sculpture piece, like seven out of 10, this is. What happened to this? It's rusty on the bottom and the top, but on the sides, it, it's fine. This thing rusted very oh cool rust water look at that it's like that one town from life after people what was it called pitcher nope it wasn't pitcher it was pitcher oklahoma pitcher oklahoma famously featured on the famous show life after people was a regular american town 
until it became so contaminated because of the mining that they needed to evacuate everybody and burn it down. They still have Christmas parades there though. Hopefully this upcoming street trash isn't quite so toxic. I'm gonna have to give that like a... 8 out of 10. This is not street trash, but this is a standing telegraph pole. This is what they're supposed to look like. They're supposed to be standing and rotting and not on the ground and rotting. This thing is really old. This land I'm standing on right now is sold to somebody. So I'm probably not supposed to walk on it. Um, but here we have, what do we have here? It looks like we have a nutritional shake, original complete nutritional drink. Vanilla. Two. I come across the road. Oh, I love these signs. These are my favorite. Let's see what it says. Oh, yikes. Here we have some cones. For, everybody's all crazy about these cones. I have no idea why. Um, people in their cones, man. It gets a 3.002 out of 10. Let's get out of here. Here we have some ripe tobacco, which contains nicotine. Uh, I'm sorry, pipe tobacco by the American Club, and it is in a basket in a tree, which is right next to the other telegraph pole. People are looking at me again. They parked right there. I'm actually about to pass away. Um, three out of ten, though. I think I'm in imminent danger. A truck spooked me. I think if I keep reviewing street trash, I might die from like from some sort of oh god. Oh no. Is that a car crash? <laughs>